Kitty is hiring a software engineer and that's kind of a surprise actually, kind of. Like this is in discontinuity to what KDE EV has been doing for quite some time, but it is in line with the more recent trends. So let's see what is going on. So it's not like KDE hadn't hired anybody before. Rather, usually up to like um, one year ago, all of the people that were hired were people working on non-technical areas, such as the promotion of KDE or writing documentation or, you know, managing the legal side of things, this kind of things, never actually working on the software. And back then, as far as I know, that was actually a choice that was done by the community because hiring developers did bring some uh, complexities that had to be addressed. However, more recently, there has been the push to actually start hiring people to work on the code base. So if you're out of the loop, you might be asking, wait, does that mean that KDE does not currently pay any developer to work on KDE code? And the answer is yes, actually. Right now, there's nobody paid by KDE working on KDE's code as far as I'm aware. Rather, there's people um, either working on the free time, like like me, <laughs> or people that are paid by external companies to work on KDE software. But that said, this should change it. This uh, software engineer should work on like KDE frameworks, Plasma, Qt, middleware like Paperwire, Wayland pro protocols, these kind of things, which is very much KDE stuff. So. That is exciting, but at the same time, one might ask, okay, uh, wait a sec, who is paying for that? So how is KD going as far as money is concerned? So first of all, let me say that this position is not actually full-time, it is 20 hours per week. So that is already uh, somewhat, that eases the cost somewhat, but uh, still, KD does need to step up a bit its fundraising platform. And there has been changes in this direction, which are be, have been very interesting. As a matter of fact, you can donate right now. There's an ongoing campaign, which you can find at kd.org slash Blue Friday. Yes, Blue Friday. And the thing is, up until now, to actually donate anything to KD, you had to do like a one-time donation. That was only the only thing supported. And if you wanted to do a recurring payment, you had to use relate.kd.org, which is less user-friendly. And it's it has always been weird to, you know, have these two things in two different places. Now, KD has started using donor box, which uh, has also been used uh, to make an example for the Kitty Live um, campaign. Now, it is not like all beautiful and simple. Uh, keep in mind that donor box has the tool that allows us to take donations, does take um, a percentage of the donations, I think, like I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, but that's really impossible to avoid. To make a, a more concrete example of numbers that I, I can actually talk about, if you donate to me, like personally, to me, through PayPal, PayPal usually it's like 5 to 10%. If you do it via Patreon, Patreon usually takes between 15 and 20%. If you donate via YouTube, they usually take something like 45%. So, yeah. <laughs> So it is rather normal for a tool like DonorBox to take a percentage of the things. Uh, however, if uh, you manage, thanks to a tool like DonorBox, DonorBox, which is very simple to use and also allows you to make recurring payments, if a lot of people find that uh, tool easy to use and lots of people donate thanks to the fact that we have that, that tool, even if part of that goes to DonorBox, we still see an increase in donation and it's all very cool for us. In fact, currently I think we're going at like 500 euros in just a day or two. So let me check. We are at 800 euros currently, which is super nice in just two days. So if you do want to donate to KDE, please do. <laughs> it would be a very nice thing if you use KDE. You can do so at kdorg slash 
Blue Friday. And this kind of initiatives is what will allow us to hire more people, hopefully. And it's kind of like one of the very first technical hirings. Now, technically, KDE did hire um, Ingo Klöcker, I think it's pronounced, I think, to maintain uh, and improve KDE's packaging infrastructure. Uh, that was a bit ago. I don't remember when exactly. So it's not like the very first thing, but this is a significant step forward. So I don't know. You excited? Of course, you should think of applying if you've like maybe used KDE so that you get an idea. If you have any experience in like C++, Qt, the, these are the tools that KDE uses. If you have any idea of the background of KDE as in like the frameworks, these kind of things, apply, please do. I wonder if I should apply, I don't know. Should I apply? <laughs>